welcome everybody uh, to our now seventh Pro 7 Sat 1 Accelerator demo day. It's a great pleasure to have you all here and also to have our friends online live on Facebook. Um, you will get the opportunity today to take a look at our four startups that we've selected into the program that have worked with us for the past three months and are ready to present to you now where they're at and what their plans are for the future. But before I give the stage to the startups, I would like to give you a little bit of an overview of what we've actually done with them, how we are working on the accelerator side and what makes our program unique. So to put it in a nutshell, we help startups get on TV. That's what we do, that's our core mission, that's what makes our program special and stand out. How do we do that? We offer the startups 500,000 euros worth of TV advertising time on our channels. So Pro7, Sat1, Kabel1, 6, Sat1 Gold, um, Pro7 Max. And uh, we give them 25,000 euros cash, which they can use for a TV spot production, for example. We also give them mentoring and coaching um, with both internal experts from within Pro7 Sat1, but also external experts, functional experts, social marketing experts, TV advertising experts, you name it. And we also provide the startups with office space here in Berlin, which they use when we have sessions with our experts and mentors, because typically they are rather big and have um, their own offices, so they couldn't bring all their employees to our rather small Berlin office space. Um, and also what we do is we invest through convertible note structure. So no fixed valuation, which makes it possible for also later stage startups to uh, join our program because we don't have a fixed valuation and uh, we only uh, convert our um, convertible note at the next financing round. So a lot of flexibility uh, from that side as well. So what can you do with 500,000 euros worth of TV advertising time? It's a question that we get asked uh, quite often. So it gives you access to uh, 42 million households. Um, and also we help you with, uh, through our marketing agency, 7-1 Media, which has uh, a large share on the German TV ad market. It's actually the largest private um, marketing company for TV ads. Um, and uh, also we have a network of more than 80 companies globally that we, are, uh, we as ProSiebenSat1 Group have invested in. So you can use all that, and uh, if you get our TV airtime, then um, you will have the possibility to be visible for about, let's say, three, three weeks on our channels, you know, with a good mix of larger and smaller channels. So afterwards, you will have a pretty good feel for what TV can help you with, um, what you can expect um, from having a TV campaign on our channels, and then we are there for follow-on investments through our, um, through our sister company, Seven Ventures, uh, Seven Commerce, Seven Travel, depending on what kind of industry you're active in. So, and therefore, we focus on B2C companies. Um, because only B2C companies you can advertise for on television, on our channels, in a smart way. Typical industries are e-commerce, entertainment, fintech, and health. Those are the businesses that we typically work with uh, that have proven to be very successful um, after a TV campaign. And very important as well, not only the industry, but also the maturity stage of the startups matters, because you need to have had a certain level of traction, revenue, user base, um, you name it, because only then you typically have the operational capacity and capabilities to handle the incoming traffic and load after you um, have run a TV campaign on our channels. And it should be a mass market product, because of course everybody knows if you broadcast on television, you broadcast for the mass market, and um, therefore it would be good if theoretically most of the people that are watching the television show could also buy your product. So and with this, I would like to hand over to Stefan, who will give you a little bit of more insight into who we work with and what we have achieved so far. Thank you, Jens. Um, also, a very warm welcome from my end. Um, 
We, as part of the program, we also partner with a network of um, venture capitalists, and we do that in order uh, to uh, work with them on the one end of the selection of the startups, and they also help us with mentoring during the program. So the, our startups get the chance to work with these world-class investors and actually get tips from them. As part of this entire program, we've built a very strong track record. So our firms have gathered millions of, of funding, of follow-on funding, obviously, and we remain with a very low acceptance rate. So we approximately accept less than 2% of, our star, of, uh, of applicants to the program. We've been doing the program since 2013. And um, therefore, obviously, by now, have a large portfolio of um, firms which we've worked with. And that is also um, a very active alumni network, which we use also as part of our program. The new setup, which Jens has presented, um, which uh, uses also TV media, uh, we've started that since 2015. And therefore, you also see a slight change in the number of startups which we are accepting since that year. And before we go now to the, um, to the current batch, we actually want to show you some of the results of the past batches. And uh, we thought it's probably a good idea, or the best idea, to, um, to show you some of the spots which they have done, because that's in the end the ultimate, go the ultimate goal of the program. And we start with Clark, which is uh, a mobile uh, insurance broker. Du weißt nicht, ob du zu viel für deine Versicherungen zahlst? Dann hol dir jetzt die Clark-App für dein Handy. Hier hast du all deine Versicherungen übersichtlich im Blick. Clark zeigt dir, wo du sparen kannst und durchsucht dafür die Tarife von über 160 Versicherern. Mit einem Klick sparst du bis zu 50%. Clark, die App für alle Versicherungen. Hol dir jetzt die kostenlose App. Alright, um The next firm is FAIR, and uh, FAIR provides you with a digital solution for, um, yeah, for Riester Rente and also other programs. Du bist unzufrieden mit deiner Riester Rente und glaubst, Sparen lohnt sich nicht mehr? Riestern mit FAIR.de läuft anders. Geringe Kosten, mehr Rendite, mehr Rente. Und das bei hoher Sicherheit. Wechsel jetzt online und kostenlos zu fair.de. Fair.de. Weniger Kosten, mehr Rente. Jetzt auch als Rürup. All right. And the next firm is uh, Foodist, uh, which provides you with a lot of very special um, yeah, grocery, not really grocery, but um, food which you can eat every day, but it's very special and often brands which you have never seen before. Entdeckt, um sie zu überraschen. Liebevoll hergestellte Delikatessen aus Manufakturen, wo Geschmack alles ist. Zum Laschen, Kochen, Knabbern und Trinken. Freuen Sie sich monatlich über Ihre Foodist Box mit ausgewählten internationalen Köstlichkeiten. Jetzt Foodist werden auf foodist.de. Ähm. Um. The next one is Kukimi, and uh, Kukimi is a provider of um, ready-made, very healthy food. Jede Frau hat das Recht auf ihre Traumfigur. Keine Frau sollte dafür hungern oder stundenlang in der Küche stehen. Deshalb haben wir das Kukimi Ernährungsprogramm entwickelt. Für mehr Spaß, mehr Freiheit und weniger Stress beim Abnehmen. Jetzt leckere Low Carb Gerichte auf kukimi.de bestellen und in nur 10 Minuten erwärmen. Kukimi, leicht und lecker abnehmen. And the last one is uh, Triprebel, uh, which is the go-to um, location when you are looking for a cheap hotel and you uh, want to go on holiday. So right now, the perfect time for, for using it. Bei Triprebel ein Hotel gebucht. Urlaubsstimmung steigt. Was kann dir da noch die Laune verderben? Dein Chef. Zu kleines Handgepäck. Deine Mutter auf Tinder. Was rettet da die Stimmung? Geld zurückbekommen, weil dein Zimmer günstiger geworden ist. Hotelpreise gehen ständig rauf und runter. Trip Rebel behält das für dich im Blick und wenn es günstiger wird, bekommst du Geld zurück. Sogar nach deiner Buchung. TripRebel.de. Erst buchen, dann besser. All right. Um, so that was the last batch. And um, now we move to the current one. And obviously each of these startups uh, will present itself. Um, but right now we've uh, opened up the application phase for the next batch. So uh, you can start applying now on our website. And obviously you can also follow us on social media. Thanks a lot. 
Thank you, Stefan. Um, so now is the time for the most important uh, important part of the day. Now is now it's time for the startups to present what they have been working on um, in the past and to introduce the startups to you. Um, I will ask Peter on stage, uh, who works with us um, since well one one year approximately, and he's been working with the startups basically every day, day in and day out, and uh, he knows them best. And afterwards, because there will be no questions allowed during the presentations, afterwards I invite you all to our nice little food truck outside for drinks and uh, some food, and then we can have discussions with the startups, and uh, you can inquire about everything you are interested about, and also uh, invest if you want to. Welcome everyone from my side as well. And um, well, we had a, we had a very um, intense and uh, inspiring time with the startups from our recent batch. And uh, well, as a, as a famous coach said, um, uh, we as well tried to, uh, to push the startups and, and um, make them better by every single day. And uh, we tried to prepare them for, uh, for, um, to, for the TV campaigns, for the mass market. And yeah, we, we gave our best, as, as we always do with, with all our startups, um, uh, to boost their business and take them to the next level. And well, as, as first, I'm um, uh, going to present uh, Timo from Gym Drive. Normally, I wanted to introduce him by saying he's um, well known for his well, special and colorful shirts. Well, today, he's at least wearing colorful, sh colorful shoes. But um, uh, he's also known for, uh, for creating a, um, a, a, white, a white night service, a service that, um, um, that helps you in, in emergencies. And um, uh, apart, apart from that, um, um, back to his, to his um, uh, roots, from uh, Timo is from Stuttgart, um, uh, from his Schwäbische uh, roots. Um, um, the service is as well very um, cost efficient, and so you're going to learn how you can save money with his service. All right, thank you. Um, first of all, how many ADC memberships are in the room? Someone else? Okay, thanks. You get also every month the magazine? Yeah, you read it? Yeah, but you pay it. Um, that's the reason why I'm here. Uh, yeah, uh, we are Jim Drive, the new mobility um, club for Europe. And as we started in September last year, we, for us it was very important to have a simple message to the customers. Um, uh, an easy to understand product, uh, a known product, and we are the new ADAC. That's our message um, with a very attractive price. Our vision in a few years, we will be the number one mobility club in Europe. We will not be the number one in Germany, France or UK. In every market is a very, very big um, club. But in every market, the number two, three or five then we are in Europe the biggest. That's our target, that's possible. Um, and we have a lot of members, members all over Europe. Our entry market, our entry product is a simple person-based roadside assistance insurance. Roadside assistance, breakdown service. On this slide you see the, all the services from the ADAC. Um, for our members, simple story, two things. We have first the same service, the same quality, sometimes a little bit better, and for example, very, very much better pricing, uh, 49 euros versus 84 euros at the ADAC. What, would he, what we do on, an, on another way, um, or what we do maybe better, we have an attractive price, you know, we are digital, we are mobile first from the beginning, and also very important, we are from the beginning international structured, so we can take over in the next years um, the European business there. These three things we combine with two proven partners, um, Europe Assistance and Assistance Partner. Uh, I know you haven't seen blue cars with a gym hat um, in the last weeks, uh, irgendwo, um, but um, we have no own service cars. That's not the key competence of a car mobility club in the future, we think. The car mobility clubs and mobility clubs in the future have to build innovative products and not to, to have an own uh, service car network. 
Europe Assistance and other stores partner has other customers, car brands like Toyota, etc. Um, they do their mobility guarantee with this. So that's the entry product, not a key product of a mobility club. How we do marketing? We have three important channels, performance, social, TV. Google, web gains, affiliating, Facebook, Instagram, very good channels for us. In the last weeks, we uh, tested very successful in uh, special interest TV stations, our first commercials, and uh, have very, very successful KPIs. And in the next month, we will also uh, start our TV commercials and our cooperation with Pro7 Sat1. We start last year in September, in uh, November we were live. Uh, we have now, uh, yesterday's what, uh, something about 7,000 members, alone yesterday 100 new members um, in the last 30 days, more than 2,000 new members. So we detected uh, we had a very good uh, marketing proof of concept in the last month and at the moment we are the number 12 in the market. It's very easy, before us there were 11. Um, so. Not so complicated to be, um, <laughs> um, but in the next month, at the end of the year, we will uh, enter the top 10 and in two years we are number three or four in Germany and that's our mission, um, I told you. Our very important KPI, um, we start in November with around about 100 new members, um, in January around about 500 new, 500 new members and uh, last month more than 2,000 new members. Um, yeah. Very good, very impressive KPIs, we think. I told you now a lot of what we did, what will we do in the future. Um, simple, uh, Jim Drive will be the mobility assistant for you. We will, be the we will be the number one brand in your mind if you think about mobility. If it's insurances, refueling, service stations, car sharing, whatever, we are number one brand in your mind if you think about mobility. That's our target. We catch the, cust catch the customer with a simple entry product, the person-based roadside assistance insurance, and take over his mobility brain. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that's for us very important because um, if we reach this, uh, we had a lot of opportunities to make more money with each, me with, with each member um, and has no problem with only one subscription fee per year, so additional service, additional money, etc., etc., etc. Um, here you see uh, first screens of our mobile app. We launch it in uh, the next month. That's w that will be the central communication platform between us and our members. And all the services around this mobility are in this app included. Yeah, um, the founder team, some other chimps. <laughs> um, I'm Timo, uh, CEO, product, finance and process, and also investors. Um, so uh, before Jim Drive, I founded an e-commerce agency with, with more than 50 employees. We did e-commerce platform for companies. My co-founder and colleague, Sofian, uh, uh, responsible for, mar for marketing and sales, founded before Jim Drive an Infrarotheizung shop. Um, a very good expert in uh, brand building and online marketing, performance marketing, and also my colleague Christoph as CTO. Um, before Jim Drive, he was, I, I know him for more than 10 years um, from the agency, director mobile development, director software, de software development, etc. Altogether, we had more than um, 13 years entrepreneurship experience and uh, more than 13 years um, knowledge in scaling business in different ways. Yeah. Hallo. Now you see our TV spot. Bei einer Panne bietet Trim Drive zuverlässige Pannen- und Abschlepphilfe mit vergleichbaren Leistungen wie klassische Automobilclubs. Ab nur 29 Euro im Jahr. Jim Drive, Automobilclub Alternative mit 1900 Einsatzfahrzeugen. Pannen und um Service 24 Stunden Notfallhotline. Jetzt auf jimdrive.de. Ab nur 29 Euro im Jahr. Yeah, this was our TV spot. Uh, very successful KPIs. Um, and this is Jim Drive. Um, if I know all of you are rich, right? But all you have a um, little swabian inside you, so I have some coupons. If you need one, catch me outside there. Thank you very much for your attention. Thanks. Ciao. So as next startup, we're going to hear 1, 2, 3, Magler. And despite the, uh, the, um, the summer, um, the prop tech market um, uh, has become really hot. And well, Kai from 123 Makler is going to um, 
uh, tell you how they revolutionizing and um, digitalizing the uh, um, property market. Yeah, um, I'm in the very lucky position to talk to you about something that we all love, um, which is brokers. It's not the easiest thing to talk about. Um, speaking at the, these events here, um, I was already I was really surprised about the great stories that founders have, how they came up with these ideas. So uh, now I have one for my own, finally. Um, about um, this time last year, um, I inherited a small apartment in uh, a rural uh, town in the south of Germany. And uh, being a young man in a big city, I could really use the cash, so I decided to sell it. Um, while doing that, I realized that there was nobody around telling me who is a good broker, who is a bad broker, who is a broker who is specialized for the kind of thing that I want to sell. Right? Nobody was really telling me that. And that's exactly where our business model came into place. Right? What, what we try to do is enable somebody who's selling real estate to make an informed decision in a marketplace while providing a broker with a technology to provide a 21, 21st century um, service. So if you want to build a marketplace, there are certain criteria that you really want to have in order to make sure that you have the right um, business model fit for the market. Um, you do want your market to be as large as possible, obviously. Right? If you're talking real estate, you already have great numbers. So we're talking about an 8.2 billion euro market in broker revenues. We're talking about 1 million real estate transactions in Germany happening every year, just done by brokers. Plus, there's a little extra effect that I have no more picture. OK, perfect. Um, the market is completely fragmented. We have over 30,000 brokers in Germany, not one of them owing more than 5% of the market. So that's a perfect scenario for a marketplace. We can curate that market. Plus, there's a little cherry on the top. All of these brokers are completely analog. None of them have really understood how digital work. The, the market is completely transparent for somebody trying to sell real estate now. And then there's a little extra, nobody really trusts the broker, which is nice for a marketplace as well. So we set out. That was the brain work part done. Now the legwork started for us. When building a marketplace, you want to make sure that your supply size is ready to take on demand. So over the course of the past 12 months, we went out and we convinced over 3,000 brokers with a combined revenue of over 1 billion euro to join our marketplace and work together with us. Why are we doing this? So per se, of course, a marketplace is better if it's large. For us, we wanted to do that to look at the historic performance data of these brokers. We want to know what kind of real estate they sold, how fast they sold it, for what price did they sell it, in order to provide a customer the perfect match for a broker, to tell them this is the right broker for the kind of real estate that you are selling. In addition, we managed to bring all of these Lighthouse brands on our platform and have them trust us. By now, we are having roughly 10% of the market share on our platform, and we're growing by 300, 400 brokers every month. Business needs to make money. So let's quickly talk about how we earn money. The average transactional value for real estate in Germany is roughly 180,000 euros. A broker takes around 5% out of that. And that is pretty much the reason why only brokers and bankers drive Ferraris. We are taking 20% of that broker. So our average basket side is around 1,800 euros. If you're comparing that to any other on-demand or marketplace models that are around, we are not relying on a customer coming back in the next two or three years, every month, every week, but we are profitable on the first transaction basis. So I need to acquire one customer and I'm earning money on that one customer that I acquired. Brokers don't like to be just part of a platform to be there, to have visibility. They, they want to make money. So what we need to do is we need to show them traction of our marketplace. In April alone, we put forward real estate leads worth 770,000 euros in broker revenue for them. They realized that about 10 years ago, they've missed one thing. They don't know how to acquire people online. A broker knows how to sponsor a football club. He knows how to make offline advertisement in newspapers. What he really did not understand is that people will be moving online. There will be a geographical discrepancy between somebody owning real estate and somebody selling this real estate. I might be living in Hamburg, but I'm selling real estate in Halle an der Saale. I don't know who's the best broker in Halle an der Saale. 
I want to know that. And this is where we come into place. This for us was what we've done over the past year. But we don't just want to stop there. We don't want to be just a passive marketplace who curates a market. We want to actively influence the selling process. And this is why we are now evolving with our business model and we're going into the next phase of this. Over 53% of brokers in Germany are one-man shows, meaning they have no infrastructure. They have no access to technology. They have no back office. What we are doing with that marketplace is we are enabling them to access technology. So we understood one thing, right? With building that marketplace, what we initially built for a different reason, um, we now have access to 3,000 brokers in Germany. What do these 3,000 brokers need? They really want technology. They want to be more efficient. And this is really what a marketplace should be. You should make a market more efficient. What we're now offering the broker is 3D floor plans. We're offering them virtual reality viewings of apartment, drone viewings of apartment, SAS software. So all of the things that a broker previously had no access to in the market. And this is for us really the future of how to enable a broker to deliver a 21st century service experience to a customer, to a digital native customer, how we all going to be in 10 years. Thank you very much for having us. Okay, I'd say every one of you has a dream. Some dreams are maybe easy to fulfill. And, well, some of them might be a bit more expensive and thus not so easy to fulfill. And, well, but David is going to present you a way um, how to make your dreams come true. So, today is Wednesday. Um, you need 50,000 euros on Friday. What do you do? Go to a bank? That probably won't work that fast. You can also bring your classic card to a local pawn shop. but. To be serious, you cannot really trust those guys. So what to do? Exactly. We come to Valendo. Why? Because we are offering a new way of asset-backed lending for retail businesses and private customers. And why do we do that? Because there's a huge market for it. On the B2B side, there's an annual loan request from small and medium enterprises in the retail sector of around 18 billion euros. So we took those 10% which are relevant for asset-based financing solution and multiply those 10% by the factor of five to reflect the size of the European market. And what we got is a potential of nine billion euros for our financing solution. So on the B2C side, we have an annual loan request. Um, oh, sorry, we have total issued bank loans um, in the amount of 55 billion euros and with a, with a credit term smaller than one year. So, and all the, the local pawn shops paid out a, a loan in the amount of 600 million euros. So what Valendo is targeting is um, a total paid out loan till 2020 in the amount of 540 million euros. So that leads us to one question. Why should those customers come to Valendo? Pretty good question. I'll tell you why. Because we are offering an online, discreet, fast, and secure process. As I said, the whole process is online. So front to back, everything happens online. And the loan is issued within 24 hours. So within 24 hours, you have the money on your bank account. So we started in March 15 with this B2C focus. In June 15, we thought, wait. If we can do that with one watch, we can also do that with 100 watches or with any other asset class. So we did it and we invented an inventory financing solution for e-commerce companies with a transparent pricing on a day-by-day -day base and the loan is only based on the asset value. So we analyzed our customers' needs and created a, a tailor-made solution for them. On the B2C side, we have a clear focus on the security and trust. So those Two points are the most important. On the, and on the B2B side, we have the flexibility and speed. But how does it work in detail? So as I said, on the B2C side, everything is online based. So the customer applies online for a loan. Um, he gets immediately an initial offer. And if the initial offer is fine for him, we pick up the item. The item is sent to our vault. There, our experts have a look at it. And if everything's fine, we are paying out the loan. 
after a maximum duration of nine months, the customer pays back the loan and he gets the item back immediately. So on the B2B side, everything starts with an e-commerce co company with a valuable inventory um, that needs liquidity. So they call us, they send us their data, we analyze everything and if, if everything is fine, we are able to pay out the asset-backed loan of around 30 to 70% of the market value. The market value is always the most important thing. We can work with almost every asset class as long as there's a strong market value of it. And then we are also able to provide a flexible loan volume and enables companies to expand and to think big. So why do we do all of that? Because, yes, we are the good guys, so, but be serious. Um, we are getting money for that. So on the B2C side, we're getting 2 to 3%, and on the B2B side, we're getting 1 to 2% percent, uh, percent interest rate and fees per month. So all in all, we can say the most important things, points about Valendo are that we are not a subject to banking regulations. So we are not working, um, or we're not, we are not bounded to any buffing regulations or something like that. So that enables us to provide a very, very unbureaucratic process. And very, very important thing is that we are completely independent in our decision-making process. So we don't have to ask anyone if we are allowed to pay out a loan based on this or that asset. So the decision is to 100% at Valendo. And because of those three points, we are able um, to offer our customers a fast and flexible transaction. And that flexibility is a, a very, very important thing because just because of that flexibility, we are able to pay out a loan based on um, a pharmaceutical products or vintage watches or a Mercedes Benz from 1952 or jewelry worth 2.4 million euros. So we paid out 500,000 euros for that. And guitars, a musician had to pay his bills and a pearl necklace. So, as you can see, we can work with a lot of assets and that flexibility is one of the most important things for us. So if we combine the, the huge market potential, the business model and our very, very experienced team, we um, come to a paid out loan volume to date in the amount of 6.6 .6 million loans, million euros, sorry. And after one year of being live, we have a positive EBIT since March, so also pretty good for a startup. And yeah, that was basically it about Valendo. Feel free to ask questions later outside, and thank you. Thank you, David. Well, once I was on a, once, uh, once a while ago, I was on a birthday, and I had uh, Mehmet Scholl next to me, and I've been playing some, some kids at the, uh, the ground, and well, he was saying to me, well, it's, kids are, are wonderful, as long as they're not yours. And adding to that, especially if, if children see, for example, a, a nice TV spot on ProSieben, and then they want immediately having uh, new toys and insisting desperately to get new toys. And this could be a real pain for, for parents and well, Florian um, and meine Spielzeugkiste are solving that pain and while doing so, they're also um, making a positive contribution for the environment. Thank you very much. Are there any parents in the room? Oh yeah, quite a lot. So all the parents here will definitely agree that children want toys every other day and it's your job to um, get them to store them or dispose them and um, uh, um, um, rebuy them again because yeah tomorrow another toy is interesting. So it's mostly on the parents to clean up all the clutter and to re uh, sell uh, rebuy them uh, again when their children want new toys. Statistically, every 12 days <laughs> to get a better impression about how large this these efforts are for the parents, let's compare the markets of other per, uh, personal products and pleasure products for parents. So, especially in the first seven years of a child, parents spend more money on children toys than they do on perfume, computer games, or even watches. 
our vision is every child can have every toy and we create a solution for parents to do all of that hassle-free and also for toy brands. Lego, Playmobil, Fisher Price, um, you, m you might know most of them from your uh, former uh, trillion times. Um, we make, uh, enable them to market their products and gain valuable insights. How do we do that? Think of us as the Netflix for toys. You pay a monthly fee starting at $4.99 and uh, you can order all the toys that your child cries for at the moment. S play with them as long as you want and then you return them um, for free shipping, no extra fees and receive the next ones. How do we make money? Our average customer stays um, around 16 months and pays 18 euro a month for that. Our costs are mainly the toy depreciation, shipping, cleaning, packaging, and um, we um, a contribution margin of 44% remains on our account. What is also great is our customers are very loyal and we uh, increase our customer lifetime value to up to 16 months at the moment. So when you compare that to other subscriptions, many of you might have, our customers stay longer with us than you guys went to the gym. What is our marketing strategy? Well, we are marketing mainly social. So this month in June, almost half of our customers came through the work of influencers, meaning people who have an Instagram, YouTube or Facebook account and have many, many followers that they um, broadcast their ideas to. So we give everybody of these influencers free months for every customer they bring. And believe me, 1.4 million parents, mostly women, uh, are there on Instagram alone and they post a lot and they share a lot and they comment a lot and they share more um, than Donald Trump ever will, actually. With our customers, they're staying around 15 to 16 months at the moment. After five months, uh, we are break even on the customer and earn um, around four times the customer acquisition costs throughout the whole customer lifetime. And this is the reason we decided to go on TV, because um, with those great uh, customer lifetimes and great margins, we can take this serious next step uh, to go to the mass market and gain more customers. By the end of the year, we will have 9,000 subscribers uh, and a turnover of around 1.4 million. And by the end of 2019, we are planning with uh, around 70,000 customers in Germany alone. But we are more than just a box. Be um, our long, uh, our long uh, relationships with the customers and the parents are extremely valuable for the brands because they receive um, data, consumer data, and um, they really know which brands and which toys are interesting for children. And therefore, they give us their products for free. And we can deliver the newest products to children and parents uh, at a very low price. So who's behind it? Um, I founded a company with another Florian. Um, his, his background is investment banking. I'm coming from um, consulting in the textile uh, and toy industry. And we have attracted also a great, uh, couple of great investors that most of you might know. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing a, currently an investment round, around, um, about 2 million until November 2016. Focus is grow, further grow with the influencers and now also with our TV advertisement and then internationalize. For all the German speaking guests here, I will also show our current TV spot that sums it up pretty much. Mama, Papa, kennt ihr das? Ich will stets von allem was. Flugzeug, Ritter, Feuerwehr, Lego, Playmobil und noch mehr. Doch kein Grund zum Haare raufen. All das müsst ihr nie mehr kaufen. Ganz neu, die Spielzeug Flatrate. Holen Sie sich die beliebtesten Markenspielzeuge und tauschen Sie alles jederzeit gegen Neues ein. Jetzt gratis Monat starten auf meine Spielzeugkiste.de. 
Yeah, thank you very much. I also have vouchers for all the parents in the room um, that I will distribute after the event. Thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. That was the overview of our teams. I hope you enjoyed it and it was entertaining and insightful for you. But I believe you have a lot of questions now and now is the right time to ask them outside where there's a little bit of fresh air um, and also cool drinks and some food. So we invite you and hopefully we have some nice networking and conversations afterwards. Thank you very much. Thank you.